Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Brandon, here for LME Beats, Loft Music Entertainment. And I pretty much just want to show you guys how to make a sound click layout. Um, a lot of people have, like, a ton of questions about it. Um, it's fairly simple once you get the hang of it. Um, and do a little stealing, I'm going to be honest with you. So, I'm going to show you some neat tricks on how to get specific coding because if you ever tried to dive into sound click and go to the css coding it's just like a bunch of mumbo jumbo you're like what the heck is this so i'm i'm gonna pretty much show you um how to get those codes correctly and everything so here we are this is my sound click page right here real quick let me just go over to my actual site so you can see my design now by no means am i a superior designer Quite frankly, I'm really not. I've just been dabbling it for a couple of weeks now. So, um, pretty much, this is my design right here. Uh, see, I was able to make the HTML buttons and things like that. I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, did everything right here. You know, got my PayPal buttons in there. Um, this is the new thing right here is the frequently asked questions. This is a good one because you can just click that pretty much and it'll take to the leasing terms and stuff like that and exclusive terms. Um, but that's pretty much it real quick right there. That's how my page looks. Now, I will tell you right off the bat, I'm going to tell you about all the coding, but you still going to have to design your page. Um, now, what I find is a good program to design the page is Adobe Photoshop. I have Adobe Photoshop. I actually watched another YouTube video. I don't remember because it took me a while to find out which one it was to basically get Photoshop for free. Um, but I will tell you there was no surveys involved if that helps you out in trying to find it. Now, I do do the SoundClick layouts for just $12.99 here. As you can see here, SoundClick layout $12.99. I just do everything for you instead of you trying to really grind and learn how to do this. It is pretty difficult to start off with like it takes a lot of patience but let's get right into it i hate wasting time but let me get right into it and just um show you basically how to do it so first you need to think of a, a sound click that you like you already see i got vibe beats let's just go to vibe beats you know this dude is like do some fucking sound click uh, people be like he cheating and stuff like that i don't think so this dude is this dude is pretty nice so we got vibe beats sound click layout uploaded right here now, what you do, first of all, you're going to need Firefox. This only works with Firefox. I don't know why Firefox lets you do all this kind of illegal stuff, but it's only going to work with Firefox. So, first with Firefox, you're going to go right here to View Source, View Source, and go to the next View Source, pretty much. And that brings up the HTML for the site. Now... All this crap up here is really not important. You want to just keep scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. You want to go past Konami Geeks. That's just my little part right there where I know now I need to really start looking. And you see this here, okay, whatever, whatever this is here. This is the custom, the customizing part here. This stuff you'd want to copy and put in your sound click where it's band interview. So let me go right back over to that sound click. And let's go back out of it here real quick. You'd want to go to edit page interview. This is where all your HTML should be going is right here. PayPal buttons, anything that's pretty much clickable on your website should be going here. In your interview part, you can put it in any of these sections, whatever, it doesn't matter. So once you do that, um, you pretty much just want to replace the links with your own. So let me go right back over to the Vibe Beats one here. We'll go back to the HTML. So you see here, you could pretty much just seriously just sit here and copy. Just pretty much copy all this. And pretty much paste it right in. Now you don't want to paste the PayPal part. I'm just highlighting it. But you want to paste pretty much all this other stuff about mail to, and you put your email address in there, or twitter.com slash whatever your thing is. You want to put all that stuff in there and just replace these links. That'll create the buttons that you need for it. Now, the key thing is you got to be very, very careful of what buttons you, you select. You don't want to select something that already has the producer's name on it. Um, 
can't think of an example. Go through so many sound click pages. Um, but you just like like let's say for example this had the envelope here, but then it said like vibe on the picture. Don't do that. Don't take that one. You need to go to somebody else's sound click or something and take a different one because that's just not gonna work. Now, the other thing too that you want to do is the CSS. So let's say you want the CSS, which is just the design of the page and where things fall into place and stuff like that. At um, so you would right click, go to Web Developer. CSS view CSS now if you don't have that part on your Firefox you need to go to google.com on your Firefox and look for a Firefox extension CSS editor Firefox CSS editor once you get that then you'll be able to have that and you can go right here web developer web developer CSS view CSS then it opens up another web page and it brings you to CSS part this stuff is not important. You want to go to below where it says Tag Cloud. So this is cool, but that's not what we're looking for. We're still going down, scrolling down, scrolling down. See, it's Tag Cloud. There's Tag Cloud. Now here it is. And when, it'll usually say whoever did their design style sheet right there. And pretty much none of this other stuff really matters until you probably start getting to, like, the stats. The stats, like, this is going to put the stats where vibe stats are so vibe stats are right there so this is going to put this css pretty much says the stats are going to be right here in this box now if you want to change things around you always want to play with um where is it don't even see it on here real quick actually let me show you a different one so keep scrolling down you start seeing here embedded player the embedded player is a big deal because that's your music player. Where is your music player going to go on your site, pretty much? So, as you see right here, it says margin left minus 453. It's just negative 453 pixels over to the left, whatever the heck that means. The way to position your player, you want to pretty much edit your CSS. Like, once you copy all this and put it into your um, CSS editor and your sound click, you just want to play with this number. So, pretty much take away the negative four five three and put like negative four five put like negative four eight six or something like that and hit preview. So once you preview that you'll see where it's at and then you can adjust the numbers as it goes obviously. Um that's a pretty big one. Same thing with margin top. So with any of these like embedded players or um the body or whatever, you pretty much want to change the margin top and the margin left to your specifications. Now, this is probably the most important part here is where it says body background image. You always want to just copy that in for sure. And your own link in here. Your own link will come from what you design. So let's say you go and design something in Photoshop. Then you will pretty much upload that PNG. It has to be a PNG. Upload that PNG to Image Shack or Tiny Pick. And you would pretty much copy that link that those websites generate you and put that link in there. So you'll be perfectly fine. That'll pretty much, this is important because that's how you get this stretched out background pretty much. That was, took me like two weeks to figure out is how do you get the stretched out background? Actually, before my, my sound click actually had a big background, but then it also had the actual layout in the middle of the screen. But if you want the stretched out background like this, you pretty much design what you want to do, and um, that's it, pretty much. Let's see, if we keep going over here, we got, this is important too. So, once you make your HTMLs, you want to pretty much copy these down here, because that's where you'll design them. So, for example, hashtag TW, I'm pretty sure they're talking about Twitter. So, remember you made the Twitter buttons and you put it in your thing here. For example, in my HTML here it says BR whatever slash whatever and then it's div class. Div class is pretty much identifying what this is. So, in this case it's TW. So, now what I have to do in CSS is reference it as hashtag TW. And then that way I can customize where this is going. Where, like how are we doing this? And the way you do that, obviously, remember you talk about the margin left and the margin top. You want to change those around to your specifications. You don't necessarily need a background URL. The background URL is specifically Vibe's link to the picture of his Twitter, pretty much. 
maybe you don't have one, maybe you already made your own picture and you have your own link, or maybe you just get one from Google Images. For example, I'll show you that real quick. I know it's a lot, but let me show you this real quick. So you have the TW here, but now you see here, my thing, it says href, and then it says twitter.com slash LME Beats, and then it has IMG Image SRC, which is this link right here. So pretty much this link is the picture, and then I have twitter.com slash LME Beats is what it goes to when you click it. That's entirely different um, from this one because this one already has the link already there. So you go down more. This is just stuff that he's hashtagging for um, pretty much whatever he's put into his HTML. Facebook. And hashtag join, which is the mailing list. Hashtag PayPal. So that's pretty much it real quick. I'm going to show you all another website just because. Let me see what we got here. Let's show you like Superstar O's or something like that. I like Superstar O's design. He really killed that joint. Yeah, let's see here. Take time. You know, I'm slow today. So this is Superstar O's design. And as you see here, these are HTML buttons, of course. Um, I love this. This is really nice. I wish I could do something like that. Now, you got the HTML buttons right here. More HTML buttons. So let's say you like this layout. Let's say you like how, how this is or whatever. You can literally go view CSS. Remember, you scroll all the way down, and here it is right here. You see, this is hot.com here, and it gives you all the things again. Remember, this background image, this is part is important here. That's how you get it to stretch. And then he has his hashtags here, or the dot news, or hashtag PayPal, PayPal button 2. So hashtag Facebook. So it pretty much has everything right there. Yeah, when you see those hashtags, look at it this way here. We go to view source. And then now Subsar O's comes up. Remember, we don't need none of this stuff. There's the Konami Geeks, there's the stats. So right here, div ID equals PayPal. Da da da. Div class equals news, div ID is specials, div ID is mailing. Remember, these were all hashtags that were in CSS. So that's pretty much how you do all the coding. The design is totally up to you. Like I said, I use Photoshop. Um, so definitely, definitely is um, a little bit of a task. But this is just to save you a couple bucks, especially if you're just starting off. You're just starting off, you know, you don't want to put so much money into it. Like some of these graphic designers, man, don't get me wrong. Like their designs are fly, they really fly, but they're like three five hundred dollars. That's a lot of money, man. Yeah, I agree with investing in yourself, but that's a lot of money to just start off with. Um, this is something where I mean, I'm not a designer. You probably, you guys might have more creative genes in you than me, but this is something that I thought was would suffice. I mean, people look at the website and they're like, you know, it's pretty nice. It may not be Superstar O's grand website or Vibe Beats or whatever, but guess what? I didn't really pay any money either. So now I probably in the future will pay some money just to get a, a logo. I think a logo would be pretty cool. Um, then I could do the design myself, but um, just keep working at it. Like I said, I do the whole layout for you in the coding for $12.99. Um, that's a really cheap price just because, hey, I'm starting to do it myself too. Um, and I could do simple layouts like this. I mean, I can't really mess with anything like Big Flash and all that other stuff, but I could pretty much get you going for twelve ninety nine. That's nothing. Um, and that's it, pretty much. Let's, let me see, I got the scrolling text and everything. So that's pretty much it. So you guys have a good one. Hit me up in the comments or hit me up, loftmusicent at gmail.com. Um, and let's talk. Let's do, let's do something.